From the 12 News Studios, this is EVB Live. Tax refund burning a hole in your pocket? Best use? Reinvest in your home or use it towards the down payment on a new home. We've got some great, great tips with our expert, Holly Henbest, realtor, our special realtor here. <laughs> Love talking about this because a Thank lot of people you. always wonder, where should I put that money towards to right. increase the value of my home? So right. we are breaking it down. Start us off with the top three tips for outside right. under $500. I always say you do judge a book by its cover. So mm -hmm. make sure the outside of your home looks great. And we talk about curb appeal all the time, but there's a few things people forget about. One is if you have a drip system and you haven't replaced any of the rock, if you have a rock front yard yeah. and you have a drip system and you see those little black drips sticking up all over the place, you're either missing plants or you're missing rock or both. So you might want to call your landscaper and get a couple tons of rock unloaded at your house and have them respread that out so that you're not showing bare earth. Mm -hmm. That just refreshes your whole yard right there. Mm -hmm. um, I myself just did it last week. I had three tons of rock, rock delivered and did my whole front yard in a couple of hours with the landscapers and it looks so much better. Yeah. And I was missing two or three plants, you know, for $20 a plant. Just get those drips covered again and get the plants out there. Also, paint your front door. Uh -huh. It's the first impression when people people are walking up. So make sure that your front door looks nice. I can't tell you how many front doors I see that just look horrible. Yeah, fresh and inviting. Okay, yeah. top three tips for inside under $500. One of the greatest things you can do is put all of your light switches on dimmers. Um, oh. That's something that's not very expensive and it automatically changes the mood of your home. And especially if you have the smaller square light switches, it just automatically dates your home. So if you get those nice rolling slider uh, dimmers, that's a great enhancement to your home. Mm -hmm. You can also start to update some light fixtures. So if you have some light fixtures, immediately when people walk into your home, they can date your home, especially if you have the golden glass look. Yeah. So go with something with fabric or go with something that's more oil rubbed bronze or something that's pewter or something like that just to give it a fresher look. Okay, and then you say paint baseboards and ceilings a clean white. Let's move on to the next category for Alrighty. 500 to $1,000. Speaking of gold, get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I'm guilty of this. Yes, I just said to you a few minutes ago, gold isn't sold. Oh. So if you have a lot of gold in your house, this is the time to maybe reinvest in changing out your hardware of your plumbing fixture. So get some new faucets, maybe even on your cabinets, get some new door pull handles, things of that nature. Anywhere you see gold in the house, go ahead and get rid of that. Replace that with the same metal, though. You don't want to start mixing the metals in your home. So oh, don't yeah. do silver, gold, and oil rub bronze. Pick mm -hmm. one, go with something that's more neutral, that's going to fit with the rest of your decor, but get rid of the gold. You also say epoxy the garage floor. Even install a soft water system or a water purification system. Let's move on to a thousand thousand dollars and plus paint the inside yes painting the inside and painting the outside I think especially the outside people forget that in the Arizona Sun every seven years or so you're gonna need to repaint the outside and if you haven't done that this might be the time to take a look at that it dates your home it's also a maintenance issue just to keep your home in good condition it protects it for the years coming that you're gonna be there as well as making it a better investment for when you go to resell on the inside the same is true we all know the walls get marked up or we're using dated colors we were into a lot of the more earthy tones. Now we're seeing a lot more grays. So you can also give it an updated look just by changing it to the more on-trend colors. Okay. And I highly recommend staying away from greens and reds. Oh. Those seem to be the most alienating colors to buyers these days. Yeah, they're so. very strong, very bold. They are. They are. Holly, always great to talk to you. Oh, great tips you. indeed. Thank you so much. Thanks.